Hey everybody, BJ from Trophy Ridge Planter Boards, home of the original clear board and double X tackle. I want to show you a, a bait that double X tackle has and you can go on their website at uh, doublextackle.com or rainbowplastics.com and find these floats. It's a stemmed cork float, great for striper fishing, something I like to utilize behind the boat with a planer board set up. As you can see, we have two out on the port and two out on the starboard side. What this, uh, of course, all on these main lines, I've got 25 pound, and then for the leader, I typically run a 15 pound. What this striper float has is what's called a gizmo stop. And what this item does, you can adjust the height of the float. You can fish it one foot deep, move it up five feet, eight feet, or 10 feet and it slides on the line. It's real simple to slide. You can slide it to whatever depth you want. And then the, it is made to be wound up through the rod and even into the reel. And as you can see, I'm using a sinker on here to keep the bait uh, low and then the float would go up to the gizmo stop and stop. They have uh, four different colors on this, or three different colors, red and white, fluorescent orange, and green. And inside the header card, they have a quick instruction sheet. If you're not sure, it'll show you how the bobber stop or gizmo stop goes through the holes, then you put the bead, and then the float, of course this direction being towards the hook. Great little items. You can actually purchase these things in stemmed or non-stemmed. They also make a non-stemmed version of it. But we'll grab us a bait and we'll put this thing out. And I've got it set at about six foot. So once we get it out, put it out over the boat, start letting out, that float will go up to the uh, the gizmo stop at about six feet and the bait will be suspended under the float at six feet. Now usually that bait will move around there. Of course I've got the sinker on it to try to keep it down because these fish are, are down a little bit. And I typically will let this out 100, 125 feet behind the boat. Of course we have our four planers out and this is a good way to get in that uh, area behind the boat where there's nothing there. You might as well utilize that area while you're fishing. Great float. A lot of buoyancy in this uh, bobber. Floats really high. It's easy to see. And I'll get this out to about 125 and we'll see what happens. Alright, we got us a cork. A cork. Super float fish. It's a pretty good one. Jason Bennett pulled one out for us here. Put my good luck hat on. It's a better fish. Yeah, that one looks like he's got some shoulders. Yeah, he does. And as you can see, this was on the uh, the double X tackle super float. We had it behind the boat and uh, had a small quarter ounce sinker on it to keep it uh, keep it off the top of the water to keep it down there in that depth. Into this board over here, Boy, he does have some shoulders. Some shoulders Anything I can do for I you? I think it's going to be all right. Didn't take long with a good look at it, did it? Mm -hmm. As soon as you took that uh, jacket off. PJ, do I need to lift and keep that fish in front of you? Yeah. Move it up. All right, I'm going to go high. Come on, there you go. That was worth it. You can get it from there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy, that's good. All right, back over here. I'll try to get down. They go where they want to, don't they? Good boy. How many clients do you have? Oh, yeah, we will. Keep that rod tight. That's exactly right. Down. <laughs> Especially working them like that, they'll lose half of them, huh? Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
Here we go, boys. Here we go. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah. That's what we want. Ah. We think he might be seeing. Ten. And I got a scale in there. It might keep us more honest, but we'll, we'll say ten. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish, boys. That's what we come for. Check it out with the super float. BJ, I'm going to get a quick picture with you with that fish with that float hanging in there. Guys, I'm going to try to see if... Oh, he's kicking hard. Mm -hmm. Shoot, he's gone. Good. Good job. Good job. Good, Good job, bud. <laughs> Good. All right, let's get the blood out of the floor. We don't want a gruesome picture. 